This is the third lesson in a crash course in movable guitar chords. It's completely free, and you can download the free first movable guitar chords booklet from my website. I'll leave a link in the description. In the last lesson, you learned how to play movable major chord shapes with roots on the fifth and sixth strings. Now we're on page four, and you're going to learn how to play movable minor chord shapes with roots on the fifth and sixth strings. Remember, this is a crash course. To really get these chords under your fingers, you need to play them as often as possible. One really good way to do that is to play songs you already know, but play them with movable chord shapes, even when you could play them as open chords. At the top of page four, we have two movable minor chord shapes, one with the root on the fifth string, one with the root on the sixth string. Let's take a look at the string six root first. Finger one, three, four, and then one, one, one. So finger one is barring strings one through six. And here's what our fifth string minor shape looks like. Finger one, three, four, and two. And we are muting strings one and six. Now some people like to like to bar string one with this shape. If you do that, you'll be barring with your first finger. And that's okay. You can play that if you like. I like to do it with just the middle four strings, barring that first string only if I have to. Right beneath those minor chords at the top of page four, we have this chord finder exercise. This is just like the chord finder exercise on page three, except it's with minor chords. The first chord is E flat minor on the fifth string. First thing we need to do is find our root note on the fifth string, our E flat, that's going to be at the sixth fret. And this is the fifth string minor shape because our root is on, well, the fifth string. So there's an E flat minor. Next, A minor on string six. Again, we find our root note first on the sixth string. We need to find that A. That's going to be at the fifth fret. And then that is a sixth string root, so we play our sixth string root shape. Next, we have D minor on string five. First, you need to find your D on the fifth string. So you know, you know where your root note is. You know where to place the shape. That's gonna be at the fifth fret. That is a fifth string shape, so there you go. There's your D minor. Next, we have G minor on string six. Again, find your root note first at the sixth string, third fret, that's your G, and then play your sixth string shape because our root is on the sixth string. We have another G minor, this time with the root on the fifth string. So you need to find your G on string five, that's gonna be way up at the 10th fret. And then we play our fifth string root shape. Next, we have a B minor on string six. First, find your B on the sixth string. That's going to be at the seventh fret. And then play that sixth string shape. Another B minor, this time with the root on the fifth string. As always, find your root note first. That's going to be at the second fret on the fifth string and you play your fifth string minor shape. Next, we have an F minor also on the fifth string, so we need to find our F on the fifth string. That's gonna be at the eighth fret, and then you play that fifth string minor shape. Our last two chords are both C minors. The first one is C minor on the fifth string, so first you find your C on the fifth string, and then you play that fifth string minor shape. And our last one, C minor on the sixth string. So find your root note first. Your C at, on the sixth string is at the eighth fret. And then you play your sixth string minor shape. At the bottom of page four, we have two versions of Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. One is in D minor, one is in B flat minor, and both of these combine the minor shapes on this page with major shapes from page three. Let's take a look at the D minor version first, and there's an instruction right above that to play the D minor chords with the root on the fifth string, and your A major chords with your root on the sixth string. Our process for this is to first find our root notes, just like in the chord finder, and then figure out what chord shapes go along with them. And then we play the song. 
Our first chord is a D minor, and remember we're gonna play this with the root on the fifth string, so we need to find our D on the fifth string so we know where to place our shape. The D on the fifth string is at the fifth fret, and because that is on the fifth string for our root, we play our fifth string minor shape. The other chord in this one is an A major. That's gonna be on the sixth string, and again, we find our root note first. That A is at the fifth fret as well. It's just on the sixth string. And we're going to be using our sixth string major shape from page three, the previous page. So our two chords are D minor, A major. If you compare these two shapes, they're the same shape. You're just playing them on different fret, on different strings. D minor with the root on the fifth string, A major with the root on the sixth string. Before you even play the song, I would suggest doing what I was just doing now, playing back and forth between those two chords to get that movement down, and then we play the song. I'm just going to use a very simple kind of boom chick pattern. You can use whatever pattern you want as long as it is in 4-4 time. The main thing here is that we're learning these chords. You can work on patterns on your own. So starting on D minor, do, 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 to A, do, 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 D minor, do, 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 ba, da, ba, da, do, 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 ba, da, da, ba, to your A, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 D minor. At the bottom of page four, we have Joshua fought the battle of Jericho in B flat minor. We're going to go through the same process, find our root notes first, figure out what chords go along with those root notes. And there is an instruction above this one. We're going to play our B flat minor chords with the root on the sixth string and our F major chords with our roots on the fifth string. Let's take a look at the B flat minor first since that's the first chord. The first thing we do is find our root note B flat on the sixth string, so that's gonna be at the sixth fret, and that'll be our sixth string minor shape. So there's your B flat. Next, we need to find an F on the fifth string, and that's gonna be at the eighth fret, and this is an F major, which we learned about in on page three. We're going to use our fifth string major shape for that F. So our two chords are B flat minor and F, First, before you do the song, just kind of go back and forth between those two chords. Get used to that movement. And then play the song with whatever pattern you want. Do, 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 to your F, do, 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 to your B flat minor. Do, do, bum, ba, da, like, next line. Do, 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 to your F, bum, ba, 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 ba. Your assignment is to practice the material on page four and to continue memorizing the notes on strings five and six as needed. I've got some videos that'll help you learn the fretboard. I'll leave links for those in the description. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the free first movable chords booklet. Once you're comfortable with page four, I'll see you on page five, which focuses on two movable dominant seven chord shapes.